I think my secret sauce is just being shameless. I will do anything for a laugh, and I don't care. Mmm. <laughs> Vegan. I had a chance to talk to some of the best comics in Canadian comedy, who all star in Prime Video's hilarious show, Last One Laughing Canada, and they gave me tips on how to be funny. I'm learning how to be funny from, you know, the best Canadian comedians. So what's your tip? I walk into a room, what do you think I should do first? I don't know, like, you know, a well-timed fart is always good. <laughs> I think that never gets, that never gets old and, and the more inappropriate the context, the better. Do I start like squawking? Do you think that's gonna get everyone's attention? Uh, no, the squawking <laughs> will never work. Maybe, sit in the corner and, and creepily stare at everyone and don't say a word. That probably won't make them laugh, but maybe after like an hour or two of that, um, people will just start thinking you're ridiculous and laugh. Become aware of the surroundings of the room, see what's going on there. Because I believe it is my right as a Canadian to eat seven different colors and still just shit green for some reason. A lot of comedy is just noticing things and it's it's an innate sense to understand what is funny about everyday things my big question is can you learn to be funny or do you know that you're funny i think you can if you're already a little funny someone once said you can't teach someone to be funny but you can't teach them to be funnier you probably could sit down and study like mathematically what what makes people laugh all the parents of my friends despised me like the first day of school i ruined christmas and told them what anal sex was <laughs> There's an uh, entire history of funny people who have done amazing things. So I would find, I would watch them and then I sort of get my own, what makes me funny? It's, it's your viewpoint. That's what makes you funny, the way you see things. You, know, you may not get everyone laughing, but if you can get 80% of the people laughing 80% of the time, you'll make them all laugh at least once. As a child, you know, were you like, I'm a, I'm a funny guy, I'm gonna do something with this. My dad told me that I understood comedy uh, at a very early age. <laughs> that I, I laughed at things that there is absolutely no way I would understand the context for. But he said, like, even from a very young age, you knew that things were funny even when you didn't know why they were funny. I've always loved comedy, and until I did it, I actually didn't know until I was about, I think, maybe 25 and i made my first youtube video <laughs> getting some more beer we're uh, all together here having a i'm by myself because before that i had studied acting and i'd been in bands and i was doing this kind of and, and at some point in my life i was like i just i love laughing and i i grew up on all the canadian comedy i'd always wanted a lot of attention and uh wanted to um I kind of get ahead of bullies as well like you know I felt like a bit of an outsider and it was a way to kind of if you're going on stage and saying things about yourself before anyone else can say them you know what I mean that was I found that really helpful but there it is I washed my face a shitload who knows why and she's like well it's because your face is oily and people can see the oil and they think you're a greasy girl <laughs> I was very studious as a child. I wanted to be a marine biologist. So I wasn't a laugh riot. But then I found I could make people laugh. When I was a young boy growing up in the hood, <laughs> I used to love the music of the street. And that's why my favorite song in this entire collection is Snoop Doggy Dogg's all time favorite, I'm gonna lube you whether you like it or not. And I'd always been a fan of comedy since I was young, watching. Anyone who made me laugh, I kind of watched them and tell them, what, what is, why am I laughing at them? What is it about that? So I studied all the greats. I know people hate this question, but like I'm sure people come up to you all the time. They're like, oh my God, tell me a joke. What is your go-to joke? All right, that's a tough one. That's like what every Uber driver asks me is like, what's your best joke? <laughs> I'm asking uh, Uber riders if they have a joke. Really hard to come up with on the spot. Oh, when I was younger, it was always my pants would come off. That <laughs> I was young and <sighs> Still learning. Uh, well, so this is the first joke I ever learned. And I don't know if it's my go-to joke, but it's the first joke. And I don't even know, like this taught me what a joke is. And I don't think I really understood it when I, no, I understood it. Um, it was knock, knock. Who's there? Owls go. 
Owls go who. That's right. Owls go who. <laughs> <laughs> and no joke, I think that's what I based that my my entire comedy career on. So the one I pull out most often when someone says, "Tell me a joke," is uh, two hamburgers walked into a bar and said to the bartender, "Can we get uh, some drinks?" And the bartender looked at the hamburgers and said, "I'm sorry, we don't serve food here." <laughs> Where do you try not to be funny? <laughs> Where are the awkward places? You always have to be careful at a wake. Good afternoon. Or I guess just afternoon. I mean, it can't possibly be that good. <laughs> and an intervention. Those are the two places where, you know, pick pick your moments. Not saying you can't be funny at a wake. Lord knows I've gotten enough laughs at funerals, but that's where you got to be careful. Oh, you're, you know, your usual funerals. Um work meetings I think it can often bomb I mean other people's shows like if you're shouting out from the audience that's a cardinal sin oh my god keep it together don't work out your material on your co-workers knock knock who's there Buddha Buddha who Buddha this bread for me won't you <laughs> no one wants people at work trying to make them laugh, testing out their jokes. Just don't do that. What's your inspiration for your humor? My sense of humor is whatever makes, I guess a toddler between the age of two and four years old laugh. <laughs> uh, that's, that's what makes me laugh, so that's what I do. More of the stuff I talk about now is related to my health as I get older and as I have those experiences. So I started talking about medication-induced diarrhea, and that was the right subject for the older group the front row. When you're climbing up a mountain, your butt becomes a fountain diarrhea. You start talking about how your pills sometimes make you poop your pants, and grandma on the front row was slapping the table because she knew exactly what I was talking about. I love storytelling, so I tell a lot of stories from my life and embarrassing childhood stories. I think parents, parents in general, are like an endless source of material. Everyone can relate, I've, you know, yeah, I think that's, you look to your parents. And Colin Mockery leaves me with one last piece of advice on how to work on my comedy skills. It really is hit and miss, and it really is a muscle that you've got to train and uh, keep doing until you feel comfortable with it. Thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe to our Narcy channel to see more great content.